Another way to make your writing more interesting is to go ahead and try different leads on for size. We talked about a bunch of different ways that we could start our narratives. Maybe we could start them with dialogue, maybe with action, maybe with sound words. We could just tell where your story is and who's in it. We could use a literary device, maybe um, a simile or a metaphor or alliteration. We could use a su surprise start. We could do an ending start. Well, there's so many different ways to start our stories. And I've told you guys, I am not the best writer, um, but I know a really good writer. And remember the teacher that I stole this writing from? Mm -hmm. He did a fantastic job with his story. So. He showed three different examples of how he could start his sledding story. The first was with dialogue. Look out below, I called as I jumped belly down onto the sled. In an instant, I was careening down the hill, the wind rushing against my face, my hands gripping the toboggan sideboards. I, don't you want to know what's going to happen? That was a great way to start. He started with dialogue. Now it's the same story, but this time he decided to start it with an action. And what action was it? A crash. Crash! The sled shattered into a million pieces. Splinters of wood flew through the air as I lay face down, writhing in pain. That's a pretty good word he used right there. So the action that he started with was a crash. Still the same story. It's still about sledding. But he figured out a new way he could have started it. And the last one, he did this great image. My head was pounding like a drum. I was screaming like a wild banshee as I laid in the snow. My face began to go numb on the melting snow. Can't you just picture that? He made such an image in my brain. I don't know which way Mr. Bain decided to start his story, um, but I think all three of those leads are fantastic ways to start. When you are writing your narrative, try different leads on for size. Maybe try dialogue, maybe try action, maybe try an image. Whatever you want to do, um, try out those different ones and see which one fits best for the way that you're going to tell your focused narrative story.